Well, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> it is a beautiful day today, finally. Yeah, yes. <laughs> the weather has been pretty bad the past couple days. We were fortunate enough to have most of yesterday um, decent. Yeah, it was just chilly. It was cold, though. Yeah. Doing the morning burn barrel. Yeah, morning routine, you know. <laughs> Look at these flowers, guys. Coming in nice and looking full and luscious. Yep. <laughs> Grass is coming out. Those got like seeded on accident. I yeah, think. yeah, over over spray, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Grass is starting to poke out everywhere around here too, but we're gonna have to get this tilled, I think. Yeah, um, if you guys, I don't know how well on camera, but when the rain comes really bad, it washes through back here and you kind of see all the grooves and that's kind of where all the grass seed has stuck and started growing. Yep. <laughs> and we don't want to spread like a bunch of hay and everything down right here for the grass. So seeds don't go away because then we just have to clean it up. Yeah. yeah. So there's no real point of that. No, I just need it tilled and I'll be good. Yeah. Not sealed in 100% yet, and it's not done. So no, not at all. It's just mainly frame. I still have to put a lot of, um, you know, screws in here everywhere. It's not even remotely done. But we got some stuff to do today, guys. Get this done while the weather is good. So. guys seen it but there's some stairs right here these are 100% temporary stairs that I built out of scrap and I had some stringers that I got that I'm gonna be using later but it was really hard to go up and down this deck or walk all the way around to the front just come over here every time I mean because in some spots I mean how high it is you know the laundry room we've had some really good rain like I was saying and it hasn't leaked anywhere except for down at the bottom where the flashing needs to go and that was expected since the water comes down and hits the subfloor but over here no leaks no leaks in the front you know it's actually came out pretty good and i'm very happy with it for now do you want me to cut this trim board yeah, if you can. Do you, where do you want me to go? To the edge of this or all the way out? Let's go to the end of the corner so I... Sorry. So I... There. The master cutter, Roxanne, yeah. <laughs> has returned with the trim. Don't make me look bad now. <laughs> yep, let's see, is that good? Yep. So I measured good this time? Yes. I didn't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for the, the flashing, guys, we just got some aluminum flashing that we're going to be using. We're going to create like an L or something kind of on this thing so the water can't get inside there. Very, very needed. It is. Because it's already, like I said, it's already been raining a couple times. And the subfloor right here, you know, water comes down. Hits right there, and you can see the water going inside and the floor like absorbing the water. So we gotta protect that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. We do. can't let the water get in and ruin the floor. Yeah, especially because it's rainy season. You wanted to put it right here, right? Yeah, and then um, afterwards we can just bend it down, you know? doesn't want to bend very easy. Yeah, I got much. 
Huh? Make sure. Good. Good to go? Sharp. Oh, I gotta get this. Underneath our temporary stairs. There we go. Is that good? Yep. I just you're gonna have to yeah. push it down. All right. Hold it there. Grab the drill. And that matches right up with that flooring too. So we still gotta put a piece of flooring in there. Of the deck decking. Oh, along this that's edge. That's gonna go underneath. Yeah, that's what I mean. This mm -hmm. is like the subfloor, right? Yeah. Like. So that way it matches all the way across. Yeah. Yep. So right now we'll just leave it like that, though. It's on. It won't look like this when we're done with it, but for right now, it will serve its purpose protect the inside of the laundry room because don't want that to get ruined. Come over here really quick because Mora is just hanging out over here looking like she's having a good time. What are you doing? You loafing here in the sun. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She's like pet me. Pet me. Pet me. Huh? You need some pets and some loves this morning. What's all this? What's all this? All these leaves all over you. Good girl, Mora. Good girl. <laughs> the Jaina. Oh, you're just so jealous. So jealous. So jealous. Ugh. Yeah, she's very good at that. She, don't leave your pencils lying around because she will find them and chew them up. I think there's one over here that's already I was using earlier. Yeah, it's but, chewed. Uh, it's chewed. <laughs> Mora's made her mark. A little smidge too long, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, barely. Yeah. Not even a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Well, it's better to be too long than not long enough. Well, I don't know if we've mentioned it in earlier videos, but something kind of cool going on over here in front of the Thunderdome here. I got some gladiolas growing. Um, they are popping out these ones over here on this side are the best looking ones. Check those ones out. See them sticking out. I'm super excited for them. I can't wait to see the flower colors and it's gonna look really nice looking out here on the front uh, of the Thunderdome with those flowers. Perfect. All right, you want me to hold them now or hold it? No, no. I got it. Might as well put them up there while we're here. Yeah. Flop around, you know. Mm, I don't want that. Huh? I said, nah, you don't want that. So for now, we're just 
leaving the flashing kind of how it is, just hanging out. Um, at least now it will protect the inside. It won't get wet if it rains today or tomorrow. Yeah. Like it always does. So we're just gonna take a break from that, but I don't know if you guys can see this last uh, header board right there. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's, it's really bowed. Yeah. It bows out really bad. So we're gonna replace that one with the straighter one. And then this second one right here is a little... It's like a quarter of an inch off. Yeah, it's, it's a little... off level. We gotta move that down. Yeah, very minor. And then, yeah, get the rest of this roof on, which will be super nice. Also protect the porch from the rain. <laughs> yeah, that's our goal for today, at least to get the rafters on and as much tin on as we can. So we're still, it's still early, so it's a good shot we can get it done. Yeah, I hope, I hope. Definitely need a roof right here because yeah. it sucked when it was raining. Yesterday it was pouring and you can't go in and out of the house. I mean you can, but better with a roof. <laughs> this side I'll take the screws out. Okay. And you hold this up and I'll go over there and take that one off and then it'll be loose. Alright. This isn't so bowed. And my drill died. Perfect timing though. <laughs> so let's just make this one level and we should be good. Now we got rid of that one board. Tell me when. Well, I'll say it looks a lot better without that bow in the board. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got more ledger bolts here. So Anthony's going to go ahead and put these suckers in place now, right? Yep, because we ran out last time, guys. Yeah, yeah. So actually, we have the middle supports down there that we did not put ledger bolts in either. So we'll Yeah, have I'm going to do that too. Yeah, so. Got to get that done. But I want to get these done like right now. Yeah. That way we can just be done with it. Yeah, we're already messing around with these, the headers. So. Yeah, these are those structural bolts I was telling you guys about for ledger boards. But if they can hold a ledger on, they can definitely hold these on. Yeah, and we use them on Thunder Dome just yep. the same way. So. Yep.
All right, finish that up with the headers. Put those uh, big bolts in. I think we're about ready to get all these rafters on. So let's get busy, guys. Let's do it. All these rafters on <laughs> it's getting warm out here my uh, back of my neck is getting all sunburnt I need to put some sunscreen on yeah. but just a sunscreen if, season I guess it is just a few more things guys and then we can start throwing some of this tin on there and then we'll have shade yeah and a roof yeah we'll have shade and a roof on the deck which is gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be nice. Yeah. So something really cool that's been happening here for, I don't know, like five days or so. I got uh, hummingbird feeders, one on each corner of the house, and then I actually have one way over there hanging up in the tree. And the hummingbirds have been over here like crazy. They've been fighting over them, and they don't care. Like, you could be standing there on the porch and they just fly right up. It is super cool to watch. Like, oh, there's a hummingbird coming over it's so cool to watch uh, the other day I came out here and there was six hummingbirds six hummingbirds never seen that many before in my entire life hanging out and fighting they're fighting over the food the <laughs> they'll be eating and one will come up out of the trees and dive bomb them and you know get out of my territory but it's like the coolest thing to watch <laughs> Did you find a nice, cool place to lay? Oh, and Mora's. Mora's. <laughs> so, after the nasty rainstorm we had for the last couple of days, my this front area here that a rooster came through and kind of spread all that big pile of dirt that was over there, well, yeah, it got really muddy over here and it got driven through so I got all these holes and my poor grass that was growing it's probably non-existent anymore <laughs> there's another big one right there and man that's okay hopefully get come on to come out here and fix this for us that would be really nice if not yeah we'll get a rake no big deal <laughs> the Anthony has cut the top of this post here for the roof so that looks nice I guess that's the only one that needs to get cut these two are the same so that looks nice making some progress yeah. we're gonna have to cut some of these down just a tad which is all right these purlins <sighs> almost there guys yeah yeah well, I'm roasting almost gonna slap this roof on here but we're getting there yeah we're making progress that's all that matters <laughs> slowly but surely guys yeah slow and steady wins the race that's right Time to go get Y. 
see it. Come on, Mora. Come on. Come on. You can't be on that side. Great. Nope. You'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> the fiasco of going down to the bus stop. Come on. Everyday occurrence, guys. Come on. Come on. Good girl. that guys yeah we had a really good rain yesterday so <laughs> we weren't playing when we said it was raining <laughs> <laughs> it's like a river yeah it's coming way up too over here i love having i love having this creek oh it's so nice and i love it when it's flowing like this and it's so calm we'll come down here and just hang out yeah, all the cool. all the water bugs are going to soon come out yeah just looking at all the scenery around it it's just nice while we wait Look at this water, guys. It's so clear. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. Mm. Ice cold, though. Yeah, it's a little chilly. <laughs> I guarantee the kids are going to say, I want to go swimming in the creek. Yeah, can we go swimming? It's clear, though. It's super clear. More likes it. She's down here all the time. Yeah, she was down here, I think, earlier today for a little swim. Oh, I see my first water bug. I see it. Oh, do you see it? Oh, They're I see it too. Up. Right there. there. There's another one right there. See it? Skitter. Yeah. A little water skitter. Skitters. Yeah, that's what we used to call them. <laughs> I love it. Right about now, this time of uh, year oh. is when uh, me and Roxanne first got here last year. Yeah. And yeah. everything's finally starting to be green again. Yeah, it's nice. It's beautiful. It is. <laughs> All right, and here he comes. We can hear it. We'll see how his day went. Let's do it here, baby. service guys what's up bud you want to turn around up there I'll come back up real quick or go that way you can turn around oh, yeah yeah no problem come on bud thank you John hey how was school yep auntie Melanie picked up the girls that's why they're not here yep so let's go. Let's go for a ride. Is Scott getting some glasses? I'm not sure. We have to talk to Auntie when we get back. Or you'll see him to have glasses on maybe when you get back. Every school bus drive up my driveway anymore. Curbside service, like I said. an Easter card from Gigi and I'm sure there's some Easter cards in here too from Grandma for Wyatt. Ooh. Go ahead and open yours and then I'll open this one. That one's from Gigi. Other way. But that's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> what? There you go. I keep hearing voices. Yeah. It's alright bud. Uh -huh. There's people here. Oh, Uncle Gary's Let's open down that there. card. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Oh man, you're just throwing your money? I better hold on to that then. Get five bucks. Wow, five bucks. I'll get a wish for you. Hey, wait. Don't you owe me five bucks? No. Oh, oh you don't. Okay. I don't. Okay, <laughs> right, let's read the card. A, a little wish for you, great grandson. Hope you know how much you, you're loved. How very much you mean, not only when it's Easter, but all the days between. Hope the Easter Bunny finds you there in Arkansas. Love you, Gigi. Wow. Aww, what do you say? Thank you. Yeah, that's nice. Five bucks. Wow. <laughs> and Roxanne got a birthday card. My first birthday card for my mom. It says, for my incredible daughter. Uh, I love your strength and energy, your dreams and passion too, and the way you put your heart and soul in everything you do. I love that nothing stops you 
that you fully, bravely face each challenge with a the perfect blend of confidence and grace. Uh, I love that you feel deeply that you're not afraid to be bold, amazing woman, and I appreciate and see. I love that you're my daughter, and the things I'm proudest of is the person that you are inside, so filled with joy and love. Happy birthday. I love you and miss you, Mom and Eddie. Aw. Well, that was a very sweet card. Thank you, Mom. See, Wyatt, we're starting to put the roof on. Yeah. What do you think? Pretty cool. I mean, it does yeah. look cool like that, it huh? Cool. It does look cool. Well, it's not done. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot more work needs to be done on it still. He'll still be working. Yeah, still be working. That's all right. It Pretty soon it... we'll have a roof on there, real yeah. soon. The work will be paid for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on top of the roof, guys, we still have to finish this flashing. We gotta put some more of this decking on top right here. And and cut off this extra so you won't see it. I'm gonna do it over here too. I'm gonna put a whole nother two by eight across this way to seal that off so you don't see these ends and stuff. And then I gotta put some silicone on the top. And I gotta flash this window still too. <laughs> You're just keep making the list longer and longer. <laughs> I know, well, I can't help it. A lot of stuff needs to be done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's getting late guys. Wyatt's home now. Usually we call it quits around this time when Wyatt gets home. Yeah. So we got other things to do for tonight, guys. <laughs> so on that note, I guess we will see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.